Welcome to Animal Cafe, where you'll hear weekly interviews with experts and enthusiasts working to better the lives of animals, and a monthly segment reviewing fun, fabulous, and useful products for your pets. Check our website, animalcafe.co, for more. Hey, Carol, we're still in National Pet Dental Health Month. Mm -hmm. and uh, also the National Responsible Pet Owner Month. And you brought something for us called Leba 3 for dogs and cats. Could you explain that, please? Yes, this is a dental spray for dogs and cats. And I've not seen anything else like this on the market, which is why I wanted to bring it to Animal Cafe. The ingredients in it are herbs that are mints, and, and there are also a few other trace elements in there in a small amount in distilled water. And what you're going to do is just spray this in your dog's mouth once or twice a week, don't give him or her any food or water for a half hour before or after, and you let it just sit in their mouth. And what it does is it works on plaque. You don't have to worry about brushing your dog's teeth. It would be nice if you could. It's, I'm always a fan of brushing a dog's teeth. I just think, would I want my teeth brushed? Yes, so I'll do the same thing for my dog. <laughs> um, but it's the sort of thing that, you know, if you're in a hurry or you don't have the time, it's a one-ounce bottle. You get 240 sprays out of it. And it really depends on how heavy the dog's tartar is when you start using it in terms of how frequent you should put it in their, you know, in their mouth itself. But check with your vet first. I just really like this as a in a hurry, in a pinch, but a, a nice product that when it sits on the teeth, it's going to help remove tartar. And it's been around since 1994. And per the website, LibaLab.com, there are no reported side effects. So... I'm thinking in over 15 years, that's a really good statistics to report. Yeah, that's very good. Um, how is it to apply? I mean, I was thinking, of, you know, of a spray. Is it a st more like a little stream, or do you it's have a, to kind of hide your dog's nose? No, you know of? what? I now to us, I don't. There's no smell to it, and there, the company touts that there's almost no taste to it. And I have, I've used it on Dexter a few times, and he's never given me. Um, a problem with it, my little guinea pig that he is. He <laughs> has, you know, he gets rewarded after, but I just, I like to see if the dog is going to run from it or not. If your dog's not used to oral care, just don't start with something you're going to blast in their mouth and go. Make it a really positive, rewarding experience and get mm -hmm. them used to it. Thanks so much for stopping by with that, Carol. See you next time. Tune into animalcafe.co for more. Thanks for listening.